Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to show you some fantastic basketball plays against a 2-3 zone defense. So hello everyone, my name is Alan, if you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit the like button and subscribe. But anyways, today I'm going to show you some more basketball plays that are great against a 2-3 three zone defense okay so the red team is going to be the defense and this is the two three zone defense now basically with a zone defense there's many different ways of scoring you can run an overload offense or you can run multiple different types of plays like the horns offense so let me show you a few plays so first these players will most likely be up as well as four five and three Five being a little bit higher because he needs to guard the high post as well. Now, some teams may also have a player one guarding up top and player two shadowing one of these post players, player five shadowing the other one. It depends, but at the same time, the play is going to be ran the exact same way. So in this first play, what we're going to have is we will have player three moving up, setting a screen for player five, and or sorry three screening three five is going to screen five player one is going to dribble to the right side and at this time we're going to have player two running the baseline now he may be open down here so player one could look for him down there for the layup if he's not open he's going to pop out and he's going to be looking for the pass for the three point shot now if he's not open open if player two is not open what we will have now is player five setting a back screen on player three who's going to be cutting towards the rim and if player five goes down to guard him if he doesn't player three would be open for the layup but if player five does cut down we will be having player four open cutting down the middle of the key for a nice layup mid-range shot or a high low pass now in the second play we're going to have player five and player four setting a sand what i call a sandwich screen on players one and two now what can happen now is doesn't matter which way player one goes it's going to be ran the same on either side let's say player one moves this way this would be an open three point shot now if player four was to go up and play help to guard that shot player five would then have to move down if he doesn't either way player three could be driving and that would be a nice pass or player three is going to be open in this corner for the three point shot so that would be a nice quick easy quick hitter that you could run if you wanted to get a few quick shots against a 2-3 zone now in this next play we're going to have player four popping up setting a screen on the left side of player one player one is going to use that screen now player four is going to pop up to the three point line to make player one guard player four himself. Player two may be able to fight through or at least he should be able to. Now this is going to leave player five having the ability to be open in the high post. Which high low passes are generally good ways to score against a zone defense. That's going to bring player five out to block that shot. And player two is going to cut back door. This may be a layup opportunity. Player three is going to be cutting down as well. He may be open. So one of, the, one of those two players will be cutting baseline and should be open for that easy layup. Another quick hitter that you can run against the 2-3 zone is before you have any players setting screens. If both of these players do pop up and allow a double team up top or even if it's only one single coverage and player 5 shadows 5 and player 2 shadows 4, whichever player is not being shadowed by the other guard, you're going to pass him the ball. It doesn't matter if it's a double team up top or not. It doesn't matter. Player 5 is going to get that ball. That's going to bring player 5 up and that's going to leave this side of the key open now if player four does pop down to cover that cut what can happen now is player two can drive baseline which would then bring player three in player three red in if he doesn't come in and he doesn't see that happening player two would be open along the baseline if not player two is cutting in and player five could then pass this is going to be very similar to like this player five could do a skip pass over to player three for the three-point shot because now that would now bring the defense over 
and we would have player four possibly able to cut towards the rim from that high post. This is a play where there's not much player movement, but lots of ball movement because now you're getting the defense to really move. Passes move a lot faster than players. So if you have that idea behind it, this offense will be able to work really well for you. Now our last play against the 2-3 zone defense, what we're going to do is have player 5 pin player 5 down in the post. Player 1 is going to pass over to player 4, which is going to bring player 2 over as well as possibly player 4. Now what's going to happen is player 4 could take the shot. He could also pass to player 5. Or player 3 could be cutting towards the rim along the baseline and this could be an easy pass and layup or an easy 3 point shot if he's still out in the wing. Now I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe and I hope to see you guys again tomorrow for another basketball video. Hey basketball coaches, so basically my defense book it's a defense that is created by myself and tested by many, many different teams. Everyone loves it. As far as I know, everything I have gotten back is great news. Basically, everything from the free throw line and under is a double team. Everything up top is single coverage. If you want to check out this book, go to the link below. It is called The Unbeatable Basketball Defense. Hello, so if you have liked this video, click over here to subscribe. Or maybe over here, depending on which side I put it on. I don't know yet. Anyways, uh, also the opposite direction or the opposite side is another video you may like. So I hope to see you again in one of those next videos. Yeah.